Hello everyone, welcome to another Black Friday video, Black Friday 2023, this time we are talking about Target. If you want to see my other Black Friday videos, I have them in this playlist, so check it out, Walmart's already out, as well as my strategy guide, definitely check that out as well. But let's dive in without too much preamble, because unlike Walmart, where it was just a very sneak preview of Black Friday, we're looking at early deals from Target starting on November 19th through the 25th. So like I've said in my strategy guide video, no longer is Black Friday just on Black Friday. It's like a week. So let's take a look. So far, just looking at this page, already a lot more promising than Walmart. Let's dive in. So we got a 70-inch Westinghouse TV. Now, I don't know anything about that brand. That's not a great sign. Usually the only at Target means that's probably their brand and it's probably their Black Friday TV. So look into that. Make sure it's not one of those TVs that you buy and it only lasts a year. We have an Xbox Series X for $450, so $50 off and you get a $75 gift card. And if you look over here, it's actually the Diablo 4 bundle. So... If you were looking to play in that game, there you go. Um, I don't know. Oh, Digital Direct. So that means you can't resell the code, unfortunately. It's already on the console as something that you have to redeem. But, you know, you get $75 gift cards. You can get another game that you're looking forward to getting. And on Black Friday, you're going to get a lot more of that $75 gift card. $250 bucks for the MetaQuest 2. And it comes with a $50 gift card, making it about $200. Bucks. That's not terrible, though the new one did just come out. So if you want, want to wait for the latest and greatest, I don't blame you. But I have one of these. It's a lot of fun. Going over to the Switch OLED. So the Switch OLED is $350 and it comes bundled with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. That's not on sale. It just comes with the game now. Same with the Animal Crossing... Um, Nintendo Switch Lite for $200. Again, it's not discounted. They just have Animal Crossing with it, and it's a special edition system. So, kind of disappointing, but oh well. We have PlayStation 5 bundles, not discounted, but one does come with, what is it, Spider-Man 2? And then I think the other one comes with Modern Warfare 3, so really take your pick. Do you want a fat one with a great game, or do you want a slim one with an, eh, okay game really up to you depends on what games you're looking for we've got the playstation dual sense controllers for 50 bucks i think we saw those for 45 over at walmart i could be mistaken but i believe that those were cheaper uh, i'll have to double check that 250 for the xbox series s that's just not a deal don't even think about it it's been 200 dollars before plenty of times let's take a look at the games already the games are so much more promising than at walmart you can almost forget about Walmart for video games this year because Hogwarts Legacy, 30 bucks. It's 40 bucks over at Walmart. We've got 30 bucks for all these Switch games right here. Every single one of these, except for Kirby, was $40 over at Walmart. So these are the better deals right here. $40 for Super Mario Odyssey is just strange. And Breath of the Wild and Luigi's Mansion 3. So those, you're going to want to look somewhere else because I've seen on Black Friday those games are 30 bucks. So I'm not sure why they're $10 more expensive. Very strange. They're great games, but I would find them somewhere else. Again, unfortunately, Assassin's Creed Mirage is $40 here. So is Mortal Kombat 1. Final Fantasy 16. Just Dance. Those are all $40. And Resident Evil 4, we're seeing it for $40 here. It is $30 over at Walmart. So it's the one game you want to get over at Walmart. Actually, you know what? I lied. Sorry. Jedi Survivor. I misspoke at Walmart. I said it was $40. It's $30. So $5 cheaper to get at Walmart. They might price match here at Target, but if you don't want to go through that hassle, you can just order online at a different store and get it there. Sonic Superstars, I believe, was $40 over at Walmart, so $35. There you go. Cheaper here. $20 for Modern Warfare 2. It was $30 over at Walmart, if I remember correctly. I just know it was more expensive, so this is the place to get it if you're looking to pick that game up. Mario and Rabbids Sparks of Hope for $20. I believe it was the same price at Walmart, so don't worry about that. We got Call of Duty Vanguard. I don't know why you'd get it, but you can get it for $10, and it is the Series X version, apparently. Even though this also says Xbox One in the case, but those like cross generational games are a bit confusing, so I don't know. Xbox wireless controllers. Now, I know these are going to be cheaper somewhere else. 50 bucks. That's not a great deal. I've seen them for 40 even not on Black Friday, so I would hold out for that. 
bunch of headsets. I can't comment on how good these prices are. I haven't looked at headsets in a very long time. HyperX Quadcast USB Condenser Gaming Microphone. I would recommend this microphone right here over that one. That one's 70 bucks. This one, I think, constantly goes on sale for like 80 This is worth the extra 10 I've had it for like nine years, and I've dropped it 30 million times, and it works just fine. Moving over to TVs. Again, these, you want to make sure you are doing your research. I don't really know what I can say about many of these TVs besides be careful. Don't buy a lemon. Buy a good one. Do your research because you're going to be watching this thing all the time. And if the colors aren't what you want, if the um, the light has bleed on the outside, there's lots of different things that can go wrong with TVs, even just not working after a year. So there are lots of issues that can happen. Make sure you look into what you're getting and always spend more, a little bit more than you really want to because you're going to be using this thing every single day or at least every single week. So make sure you get a good one. Oh, AirPods Pro are cheaper over at Walmart. So get them over at Walmart. I believe they're 160 or 170. So still $10 cheaper, $20 cheaper than what they've got at Target. Again, we can see, you can see if they price match, but it's going to be a lot easier just to buy it directly from the source. If you're buying them online, you're going to get free shipping anyway. So it doesn't really matter if you're buying from different places. We're also seeing some home theater things, some sound bars. Again, I can't really comment on that. Double check every review before you buy. That's what I'll always recommend with tech. Got some phone deals here. Get $1,300 off an iPhone 15 with AT&T. It's always AT&T. I don't have AT&T, so if you do, congratulations. This is the best trade in I've seen for a long time. I know at one point, most of the providers were doing $1,000 off but only if you sign up for their ultimate plan. So you really, you're going to have to make sure you're getting the best deal with the iPhone. Oh, and then also iPad 10th generation, hundred dollars off. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Unless it's the older generation. I don't know. I don't keep up with Apple. A um, bunch of phone stuff. Let's just keep going. I want to find the movies. That's what I'm interested in. I don't know about you guys, but I like to look at movies on black Friday Avoid laptops unless you see a great, an actually great deal. If <laughs> most of these basic laptops, not great. I'm just telling you right now, I would hold off. Buy two, get one free in movies. Now that's honestly not great unless they have them heavily discounted as it is. Buy one, buy two, get one free on all movies, books, and music. Okay, so. You can get vinyls for buy two, get one free. You don't normally see that with vinyls, so that's a pretty good deal. And if you're looking to get all of the Taylor Swift vinyls, like a lot of people, there you go. You can just get buy two, get one free. Uh, <laughs> let's keep going. Really? That's it for the movie deals? Are you serious? Buy two, get one free is all they did? No. No. There's no way. Oh, that's such a shame. Oh my god. Normally you see them for like five, ten bucks, and you can just pick up a bunch of bargain bin. The rest is food. Who shops for food on Black Friday? Please tell me. Please tell me who shops for food. Alright, let's go back. Yeah, look at that. They're not priced individually. You just get buy two, get one free. That sucks. I'm telling you right now, unless they have them heavily discounted, they're just not showing it in this ad. That's terrible. Well, let's go back real quick, recap the highlights of the video games. I think Hogwarts Legacy for 30 bucks, that's a definite highlight. If you're into Gran Turismo, 30 bucks, that's a pretty big highlight. And I guess Modern Warfare 2 for 20 bucks, if you don't have that game and you like Call of Duty. I liked the multiplayer, that might be a controversial opinion. And also the Series X, I think, is another highlight because you get that $75 gift card and it's $50 off and you get Diablo 4. So there you go. Some deals to think about. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about Target's Black Friday this year, if there's anything you're going to be picking up. And of course, like the video if you guys liked it. Subscribe for more content. Share this video out for everybody else so they know what views might read up deals to be looking out for. And as always, have a fantastic day. See everybody.